running for better. Bradford, a multicultural city with a rich history of diversity, a city of food, culture, literature and film. In recent times the city has been tarnished with some negative labels, drugs, crime, extremism, antisocial behaviour, litter, dangerous driving. What started out as a local street cleanup in April 2019 has rapidly grown into a district-wide movement. On 21st of July 2019, Bradford for Better had its first district-wide cleanup, with hundreds of residents, the media, political, community and business leaders involved. This was the biggest clean-up event in the history of Bradford. What is Bradford for Better and why has it gained so much support? We find out. I'm a Bradfordian. I was born and raised in Bradford. My background is I'm a complementary therapist and I'm also, I deliver training, training around hijama, aromatherapy. Recently my father passed away. He, he spent the last 17 years of his life uh, devoted to, to the local mosque. The day my father died, I was with my father when he passed away. There and then I made a promise, I made a vow, I would continue the good work that he loved and that's how I started b for b b for b is a pressure group and we want to work with the key agencies to stop dangerous driving, stop litter being discarded without care or concern and bring an end to daylight drug dealing. b for b has already held three campaigns to raise awareness and we are determined to persevere until we make a difference. So I'm Nash Sean, local member of Parliament for Bradford West. I'm here to support uh, Bradford Better. I'm really, really proud of the community having stepped up to, to make sure that they make a difference in Bradford. And what this demonstrates is the, the community spirit that's come together. I always say communities have their own solutions. And with the issues that we're faced as a community, uh, across Bradford, dangerous driving, littering, you know, these are the things that people are wanting, that people have said they want to address. And today, the amount of people that are coming out on the streets of Bradford is reflective of communities taking a stand and saying we won't have this anymore. So I'm really proud to be here to play my part and I'd like to thank everybody who's been organising and in particular, Anaya Shea for, you know, starting, to be showing that kind of leadership, that grassroots leadership. I am really pleased to say a thank, big thank you to the people of Bradford for responding to our call to make Bradford better, to clean our streets and change the image of Bradford because we as residents of Bradford need to take the ownership of Bradford and what happens to it. If we stand back and do nothing, the city will get more and more worse and worse. So therefore it's better that we try together from all communities and faiths, improve the city, clean our streets, and keep keep them clean. This is our city, and we want to make it great. Yes, Stanley, I'm really pleased to be here on Sunday, the 21st of July at Madhuri Masjid um, BD5. Um, I'm here with uh, Abib Rahman, who's the president at the mosque, and Mashallah, some of the youngsters here. And um, we're joining in with the uh, district-wide campaign, which was organised by uh, the group Bradford for Better. Um, the intention, inshallah, is to clean up our local streets and set a good example for the youngsters and just do our part in uh, raising awareness about some of the antisocial issues that go on in the area and whether it's flight tipping, um, whether it's just um, bad habits or, or dropping litter. Inshallah we're making an effort today. Bradford Free as an area, we've seen a lot of drug dealing going on on, on corner streets. Uh, we see litter uh, areas where uh, litter is dumped uh, in huge quantities at times as well. Uh, we've also seen speeding, a lot of speeding, especially quad bikers uh, going. Uh, we've seen them crossing our own area. In fact, last year we had an episode where one of our students was knocked over by a quad bike and he broke his leg. His name was Hanzala. Uh, so it's a very deep you know, concern for us and we feel that the council uh, and the police, they need to do a bit more in our areas to help us, you know, overcome these issues. Um, Better for Bradford started um, a few months ago um, in April and basically it was just fed up with uh, the amount of litter that was around, the antisocial behaviour, um, the drug dealing, 
um, and generally the, 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 the atmosphere of negativity stood here. I live in BD3 off of Bruston Road and my children regularly help me to clean up. Um, we're part um, of organisations, sister organisations like the Anchor Project, um, the Thornbury Centre and we regularly always get up together and just clean wherever we can. We're constantly going around with litter pickets and stuff like that. And sort of it's nice to extend that to the rest of the community and engage with them and make them realise that you've got to take the rubbish home. There's bins everywhere. We have to make a conscious decision to be aware. <laughs> it's the 21st of July and uh, we never expected such a turnout. It took us three weeks to organise and we've actually had hundreds of people coming out from their homes. Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you to all our volunteers. Thank you to each person who's made the effort to come out and clean Bradford today. Men, women, we've had the elderly, we've had the youngsters, we've had Muslims, non-Muslims, everybody participating. And I think one of the main reasons is because we all want um, the image of Bradford to be fantastic, lovely, beautiful again. Not only for the residents, but also for those people who are visiting. Um, the reason I got involved with B4B is because over the years I've seen how the, the, the condition of the area, and, and not just not this area, but generally area around Bradford, have seen it deteriorate, and uh, and it saddens me really. Uh, and the reason I've got involved is because it gives me a chance to put something back into the community. I think everybody's sick of not seeing anything from the council, um, and, and I think it's people that love this city and those of us that are born, bred Bradfordians, we want to see a change, we want to see this city improve uh, and I think we just got sick of waiting for the council to do things uh, and, and I think that's why it's starting. Hi, well I'm sort of from a background of uh, government troubleshooting or government IT troubleshooting and I've always had a, a passion for um, addressing injustices in life and I've always fought against injustices and I, I find there's a a massive injustice that's that's been perpetrated on not just the people of Bradford but in general the, the Muslim community and I, I'm trying to help people understand and how that's happened and how to deal with it. Everyone knows something's wrong but they just can't put their finger on what's wrong. What we're doing is pulling together systems that highlight what's wrong and empower people to take back the power that they've given via consent and people give their consent via silence we've, we've been uh, conditioned to say nothing to just accept things and people have really had enough and people are now moving on and say we want to change we actually want change not just to hear about change we want to see change happen we want to see the actions of what we want not just hear the words in a very very short period of time we've achieved fantastic results because we said this needs doing, this needs doing, this needs doing. Now if the management of these services was functioning correctly they would already have done this ten years ago. Not just a group of women that said hang on you aren't doing this. None of us are a leader in effect we are just people that are providing the systems so that other people can make the system work to actually address these issues, which is what they should do. Working via word of mouth, which is very, very powerful because it's not relying on conventional infrastructure, it's not relying on conventional um, processes. It's all organic and, and from the grassroots up, word of mouth, and it has grown exponentially in, in a very, very short period of time because people are now ready for change. You know, every single change that's ever been in society has been massive changes have been via women saying no, we've had enough, we're going to say no. And then all it takes is to say, no, I am no longer going to be silent, I've had enough. I'm no longer giving consent to what is going on. I'm no longer giving consent to lawlessness in where I live. Uh, anyone who, who has a passion of uh 
making a difference, making a change in Bradford. It can do people, people who have passion, people who have love, who have pride for Bradford. So if anyone is out there who feels the same as us, if they're fed up, frustrated, and they know that they can make a difference, then please join our group because we've made a massive, a tremendous amount of difference within such a short space of time. And we can change Bradford, help the, the next generation have a more of a positive future. Bradford for better!